many contradicting definitions of consumerism. These names you know. It's coming out of your ears and noses, right? An organized movement of citizens and government agencies to improve the rights and powers of buyers in relation to sellers. That's what they say. Hmm? So consumerism is a sort of a movement which is trying to protect consumers from getting exploited by organized players. Huh? If you look in the dictionary, it is completely different. It says, doctrine advocating that ever increasing consumption of goods and services forms the basis of sound economy. Uh, how many of you uh, have uh, been part of a debate or have, uh, have seen people talking about marriages have become so opulent, huh? ostentatious, करोड़ों रुपए खर्च करते हैं लोग, right? तो आपको तो show off है, you know? But you know what? There is a positive side to this, that uh, there is a big economy that is created around the marriage, what marriage phenomena of India. Okay? Uh, there are malls in Delhi, they're called bridal mall. मतलब आप उसके अंदर घुसे और बाहर निकले तो योर ब्राइड वन स्टॉप शॉप देर आर डिजाइनर सो कॉल्ड हु डिपेंड ऑन द इंडियन वेडिंग मार्केट टू सक्सीड सो देर देर इज अ गुड साइड टू इट ऑल्सो इट प्रोवाइड सस्टेनेंस टू सो मेनी वर्कर्स फूल वाला एवरी वन सो इट्स नॉट दैट बैड because had they not created that ostentatious marriage, so many people couldn't have got their livelihood. It's livelihood for them. So it's not all bad, but there has to be some kind of a balance. So that's the second one. And the third one, continual expansion of one's wants and needs and for goods and services. That's consumerism. More and more and more. I want more. And then marketers understand this. They say, buy two, get one free. No, no. You buy my music system, I give you a refrigerator free. What a mess! It's not in the house. Do a job. How much money do you have? You're saying it's 5,000 rupees. No, sir, it's not possible. You have to take the refrigerator. There's no place in my house. Now, you're going to go to the house. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. Buy, buy one get three free. कहीं पे देखा था I I for don't I forget the product also. So if you if you look at this continual expansion, we are in a देखा कहीं देखा कहीं buy one and three. Buy two get buy two get eleven. Brilliant. Buy two get eleven free. जरूर कोई ब्राह्मण होगा eleven कहाँ से आता है नहीं. So if you if you look at these examples, these are these are created because we have become like this. Continual expansion and acquisition mode. Or chahiye, or chahiye. Corporations ki kya problem hai? Pehle hota tha, aapke faculty development mein hum baat kar rahe the. Pehle hota tha ki saal mein ek baar balance sheet banta tha, fir saal mein do baar balance sheet banne laga, fir har mahine balance sheet banne laga. Ab har har ek din ke end mein balance sheet chahiye. अरे करोगे क्या इतनी बैलेंस शीट बना के यू नो तो बट देन यू नो कॉर्पोरेट रिपोर्टिंग के नाम पे देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स हैपनिंग विच आर क्रेजी एट टाइम्स कॉर्पोरेशन आर नाउ रिपोर्टिंग वीक बाय वीक चेंज बिकॉज दे नो दैट पीपल आर बाइंग एंड सेलिंग देयर स्टॉक्स एंड मार्केट कैपिटलाइजेशन गेट्स अफेक्टेड सो देर फोर एंड देन दे एडवर्टाइज देर स्ट्रेंथ फॉर ट्वेंटी सेवन अनब्रोकन वीक वी हैव शोन अपवर्ड ट्रेंड and people feel very happy. Oh, great, my company has 27 weeks, means 3 months, 4 months, 5 months. Right? So our, our attention span has also, uh, I have also acquired some of these bad habits. Sit in front of the TV and then go click, 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 click. You know? Psychology may isko a disorder ka naam dete. Kya? Huh? Huh? मेंटल तो हो ही गया इस ऑब्सेसिव कंपल्सिव इस समथिंग एल्स इट इस एडीडी अटेंशन डेफिसिट डिसऑर्डर 
जैसे कुछ लोगों का भी होने लगा है सर ब्रेक है ना और वो कैसे पता चलता है हमें टेढ़े मेढ़े हो रहे हैं अब बैठा नहीं जा रहा आप दैट्स कॉल्ड एडीडी अटेंशन डेफिसिट डिसऑर्डर ये ना सो कंटिन्यूअल एक्सपेंशन दैट्स व्हाट कंज्यूमर इज एंड लुक एट द थ्री दे ईच सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रेडिक्ट ईच अदर एटलीस्ट द बॉटम टू कॉन्ट्रेडिक्ट द फर्स्ट वन कंप्लीटली क्या उल्टी बात है और एवरीथिंग इज बीइंग रेफर्ड टू फॉर वन वर्ड कंज्यूमरिज्म हाउ शुड वी परसीव इट देन यू डिसाइड आई हैव गिवन यू द रेफरेंस यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट दिस स्वैगलर्स पेपर gives you lot of interesting definitions of consumerism sustainability let's come to the second aspect consumerism ke baad read this what does it tell you what does it tell you anybody explain it to me what is what does this mean anybody You can actually replace that 1.31 with 1.5. This 1.31 is 2008 research. 2010-11 research is already pushed up that figure to 1.5. What does it mean? Yes. So basically, what I interpret out of this means that we are using five times more the resources of Earth than you can actually decide after a certain period of time. Very close. What it means is. How much maximum can you use? One. So you have exceeded that by thirty percent already. I am telling you, new research is already pushing that figure to fifty percent. You know what that means? Actually, she was very close. In one year, what we are consuming of the Earth's resources is actually equivalent to. 1.3 years resources which we are consuming in one year no no it's now one and a half years resources that we are consuming in one year therefore the earth to come back to balance equilibrium we are not giving it time we are not giving it time i have experienced this sitting in gurgaon my niece has experienced this she just called me about a month back she has experienced this sitting in switzerland what are we experiencing flowers are blooming in our garden at strange times when they are not supposed to bloom we are having unseasonal rains why there is so much intense increase in natural calamities like tsunamis earthquakes last 3 days i have been 2 days i have been in surat in both the days newspaper has reported tremors in gujarat low grade but still tremors what is happening most probably this is the earth's way of telling us boss bahut ho gaya you know so we are already there you should be worried because this is what i have done you are supposed to ask me question why the hell are you doing this But then you are supposed to ask yourself also a question: Am I perpetuating this? Am I increasing this? Am I adding to this problem already? Moot point: sustainability. Another piece of statistic. What does it say? Since 1965, we have doubled our population on Earth. it will increase by another 2 and a half billion by 2050 more interesting i don't have to say anything you agree everyone agrees another piece of fact because of increased life expectancy this is what is going to happen pehle log jaldi jind paida hote the jaldi mar jate they were so nice अब जल्दी पैदा होते हैं मरते ही नहीं है इफ द एवरेज एज ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स इंक्रीज फ्रॉम 30 टू 
along with the increasing population and the fecundity of human beings. Insano or kutto me farak nahi hai. Kutte kabhi bhi shadi kar lete, kabhi bhi bachche paida kar lete. Hamari bhi wohi halat. Radical, right? Not radical, real. This is adding to the existing problem of increasing population and more people are being added every day and more, pe more people have decided not to get out. So it's like packing people in a hall which has a capacity of 1000 people and then that 1000 people once in they don't get out and you keep packing more people in it. There was a train accident in India local train accident. The analyst said that it was because of excessive crowding. In Japan, on peak times, office times, there are professional pushers in metro train platforms. Professional pushers they are called. They are paid hourly wage. They are there to push people inside the door such that the doors close. You want more graphic example? Go to the local government hospital here. There you may find on any average day two different patients sharing the same bed. Even that is not available. Patients sleeping on the corridors. Doctors actually sitting down on their haunches and treating them. Do they want to be like that? I don't think so. They have nothing else left. We are already living at the edge of the margins. Beyond that is an abyss. You decide. <laughs> and this is very dangerous. Philosophically and culturally, we have changed such that jitna zyada hamare paas hota hai, utna zyada khush hote hain. Aur bada ghar, aur badi car, aur bade kamre, aur badi thali, aur badi ton. Hmm? I am living in a hotel here called uh, Land uh, Gate Gateway. At the at the entrance of the Gateway Hotel. Across the street there is a house. So me and Mr. Mathur were discussing kya karin or paise kahan lagayin? Ek khamba aur bina dete hain. Ek bhoot preet aur create karke chipka dete hain. What do we do? Maza nahi aara. Aadmi ek, kaar teen, ek aur le lete hain. आदमी दो हैं कमरे छह हैं कम पड़ रहा है घूम घूम के सोएंगे सर लुक एट दिस लो इनकम कंट्रीज कौन है हमारे जैसे है नहीं बांग्लादेश इंडिया शाइनिंग India shining, hai Or shine kar raha hai. Aap dekho. If we live like people in low-income countries, everyone in the world, across the earth, jo bhi aapke 6.8 billion, jo bhi population. So then, which is been estimated to about $1,300 per annum expenditure per person. Per capita income and biocapacity. Somebody has correlated these two. They say, if we live at $1,300 per annum, then this earth can sustain about 13.6 billion people. So, you have to have a margin. So, 7 billion is not there. 2,000 is not there. 10 is not there. But, this is 1,300. This is 1,300. If we all start living as People in the high income countries, ab naam nahi leta, aapko pata hai, which is around $33,000 per annum 
per person. Hmm? Then the earth can sustain only 2.1 billion. So, we already died. We are living in goodwill. So, 2.1. Population is 6.8. So, 2.1 is the place for the And see. If everyone starts living like the Americans do, then there is place for only 1.4 billion. Asadurian is an American citizen who works in an American institution, research institution. That's his report. Very celebrated report. I've given you the reference at the end of the presentation. Go to ProQuest. Maybe you will find it. Don't go to ProQuest. Go to Google at least. Do something. Push to karo. So this is where we are. The world's richest 500 million people, which is only 7% of the world population, currently emits 50% of the world's carbon dioxide. While the poorest 3 billion, 1 billion is how much? 1 billion is how much? 10 crore. Please correct your estimates. 1000 million is 1 billion. So we are talking about 500 million emitting 50% and the 3 billion which is 6 times more emitting just 6%. This is currently the tussle between the developed and the developing world in all UN debates on environment wherein we are saying that you are the polluters of the world. Why are you wanting us to reduce our emission whereas you have already done so much damage? Why are you making us responsible? Then they have a holier than thou attitude telling us that listen, why don't you grow up as a society? You have also come here. Why don't you grow up? Learn what we have learned. So you have learned over thousand years of damaging the world. We exist only for the last hundred years as developed countries or developing countries. India, the richest 1% of Indians, which is only 10 million, as you assuming our population is 100 crore. Today, it has about 120 crore. This is a study of the old study. So, from 100 crore, one crore. Only 1 crore people are... You are laughing. Earning more than 30,000 per annum. 3.6 lakhs. 30,000 per annum. Can you imagine the top 1% Indians in 2007 were supposedly earning This is India where we are selling Ray-Ban glass for 8,000 Nike shoe for 15,000 and 80,000 room night where the top 1% actual income is 3.6 and above. Here bottom 10% का क्या हाल होगा? नहीं government ने कह दिया है? 26 रुपए पर day से अगर आप ज़्यादा कमाते हो तो you are not considered to be poor. सूरत city center से अगर यहाँ आना हो तो रिक्शे से तो कितने पैसे लगते हैं? 80 bucks. तो ये तीन दिन की wages हो गई average Indian की. I hope you can understand what is given here and the ridiculousness of this, the complete unrealisticness of this. Imminent danger is what? We have already used up more than 60% of the earth's resource already. What is left is 40%. This is what I am going to leave you with, 40%. Are you happy? If you are not happy, then what are you doing about it? Why are you not pushing me? This is your responsibility because this is what you will be left with. Asman me fir chand pe ja ke rehna padega. Now come down to the third part, which is consumer rights. This is where marketers, in my opinion, fail the customers frequently. Fail the customers. First area of 
problem is misleading or incomplete or untrue communication, marketing communication. When you say something as a marketer, which you don't mean fully, which you don't deliver fully, which you intentionally intentionally sent out that message. They go mistake sabse hoti hai. Cooperation sabhi ho sakti hai. Unintentionally send out kiya message doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the corporation retracts that and says we made a mistake. कल के न्यूज पेपर में गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी की एक न्यूज छपी है फैकल्टी मेंबर ने शायद पढ़ा हो आपके सूरत की न्यूज पेपर में बड़ी मजेदार न्यूज है गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी को ऑफिस के लिए स्टाफ अपॉइंट करना था इसके लिए गवर्नमेंट से उनको अप्रूवल मिला था एडवर्टीजमेंट निकाल दी उन्होंने अपॉइंटमेंट नोटिस हजारों में एप्लीकेशंस आ गए एप्लीकेशन आ गए साढ़े आठ या दस हजार एप्लीकेशन आ गए पोजीशन है छह या सात ठीक है इंटरव्यू का डेट आ गया और कैंडिडेट्स आएंगे अब इंटरव्यू के लिए कुछ कैंडिडेट्स आ भी गए यूनिवर्सिटी को पता नहीं है कि आज इंटरव्यू का डेट है रियल एग्जाम सो द गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी is now sending out notices that हाँ हमने एडवर्टीजमेंट निकाली थी हाँ हमें एप्लीकेशन मिल गए हैं एलिजिबल लोगों के हाँ हमको इंटरव्यू करना था लेकिन हम कर नहीं पा रहे और हम आपको बताना भूल गए इतना तक फिर भी चलता है दे मेड मिस्टेक दे एक्सेप्टेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल दोन आई सेट टोयोटा रिकॉलिंग I and you, owners of a Toyota car, did not know that there is such a problem. They said, "No, there is a problem. We want it back. We will fix it for you, free, and give it back." Good. It actually increases the equity of the company in the minds of their consumers. So, so one part, one big part of deficiency is communication related, and then there are other parts. So, this next points are all related to communication. Inadequate, scanty marketing, collateral, or literature. When you hide more than you reveal hmm? uh, gorepan ki cream hmm? gorepan ki cream aajkal ek naya problem hai usme hai mard ho ke ladkiyon wala gorepan ka cream lagata <laughs> if you research upon this some of the chemicals can lead to skin cancer तो आपने स्टैच्यूटरी वार्निंग तो दी नहीं तो बैको कंपनीज की तरह कि इसको लगाने से ये तकलीफ हो सकती है यू नो इन द केस ऑफ द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री देर आर लॉज ऑफ द लैंड विच सेज दैट यू हैव टू रिवील द प्रोज एंड द कॉन्ट्रास ऑफ दिस ड्रग बस सिमिलर रूलिंग इज नॉट देयर फॉर मेनी एफ एम सी जी प्रोडक्ट्स especially for example food product packaged food product government of india has decided that you have to reveal the ingredients on the packet itself and next stop would be what you have to also educate that this abhi bahut bada jhagda chala tha ek mahine pehle indian fmcg food manufacturers advertising on their packets that no salt was found to contain 50% more salt than what they were revealing and these are big brands these are big brands inadequate or scanty marketing collateral incorrect marketing literature 